Today, we are chatting about the big, the beautiful Arbutus Marina. Let's go. Now, some might say that the key defining attribute to this tree is the strawberry-esque fruits that it produces. And, you know, I'm not going to argue that because the common name is strawberry tree and, you know, you get these cool little strawberry-like fruits on it. All right, the fruit is fantastic. It's beautiful. You can eat it, but uh, it's just kind of chalky and, you know, it's mostly for visual. It ranges from yellows to oranges to red, so you have that sort of a sunset kind of spectrum, if you will. Really, really gorgeous. I'm not gonna deny that that attribute is incredible, but for me, where it's at is in the bark. I'm telling you guys, the bark is epic. It's this sort of rusty red tone that is so incredibly vibrant and colorful and unique. It just really packs a huge punch. It contrasts so well against the, the vibrant green of the leaves. And let's say you plant this, you know, up against uh, like a lighter color wall, this really rich red bark just makes it pop. It hits you right in the face. So for me, the bark is where it's at. And I like to get this tree in a multi-trunk form because of that attribute. And that just adds to the cool factor of, you know, this beautiful tree just funneling up and creating this gorgeous structure. And it just has this big, beautiful canopy on top. You know, I'm sure you guys can tell I love this tree. I've used it in many landscapes. It's wonderful. All right, now you've been introduced. You've had the formal handshake to the strawberry tree. Let's look at the quick facts. Arbutus marina's foliage is evergreen. It'll get to about 40 to 50 feet tall in its maturity, but again, it's gonna take a long time to reach it. Flowers are a pinky rose color and will typically appear in fall and winter. Plant Arbutus in full sun. Once established, watering needs are low. Arbutus marina is native to Southern Europe. And in other notes, it's adaptable to soil types. It is seaside tolerant and will attract desirable wildlife. Now let's talk about a couple ways we can use a strawberry tree. So number one, it will eventually grow up to become a shade tree and have a nice big canopy. But again, it's not gonna be for quite a while. So, you know, think about maybe purchasing a larger tree, you know, initially. So you're not uh, waiting as long. You have a little bit more instant gratification. Definitely give this plant time to grow and do its thing, okay? So it's a slow grower, but eventually it will grow to a nice shade tree. We can also use Arbutus as a single specimen accent tree and be kept and maintained at a smaller scale. Totally easy to do because it grows so slow. So it's kind of a, it's a trade-off, right? So it kind of depends on what you want to get out of the tree. Now, if you do want to use it as a shade tree, consider getting the single trunk or standard trunk. So it's usually going to come a little bit taller straight out of the gate from the nursery, okay? And it'll allow you a little bit more room for sitting under it as the tree expands and matures. But again, you know, I'm partial to that multi-trunk. It, it's just gorgeous, especially at nighttime. You know, you throw a light underneath it and you illuminate this gorgeous canopy. It's amazing. It is just show-stopping and breathtaking. You will not regret it. Spending a few extra dollars doing a lighting system, even just for this tree alone, I'm telling you guys, it is just worth its weight in gold. So that is it for the Arbutus Marina. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed the video. I would love for you to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when another video comes out and we can hang out again together. Thank you guys for watching and as always, in the meantime, happy planting.